Video games, video games. I like to collect video games. Video games, video games. I like to collect video games. Yo, 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 welcome back. You got James with PlayStation Ain't Dead back with another video. Uh, today's video is going to be my steelbook collection. Um, particularly for the PS5. Uh, I'm going to go through about 60 steelbooks. Probably pretty quick since there's a lot of them. Uh, but yeah, just kind of showcasing them. I'm uh, talking about a little bit, of, a little bit about them. And then um, maybe where they came from and and so on and so forth. So um, without further ado, also let me know uh, which one's your favorite still book out of these in the comments too. So, um, but yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Uh, first up, we have the Gran Turismo 7 um, anniversary, 25th anniversary edition uh, still book. Get the two cars in the front and back. Um, definitely enjoy this one. Just a great game. I, I loved it. Um, I know there's a lot of. Let me get this to focus here. There's a lot of um, hate about it because obviously the microtransaction was kind of sucked too. But overall, if you're just you know taking the game and enjoy. Like racing games you'll enjoy this one but yeah uh pretty dope cover i like the like the front and back um and you know the inside you got the the discs uh this only came this came with like a little slip cover on the outside of it um it was only available through getting the anniversary edition so there's that one there next up we have the Watch Dogs legion uh this is kind of a launch release for the ps5 uh I have the cover. There's a little clear cover. U Ubisoft kind of did like this clear cover on some of these first uh, games they had out. So that's the front and back and you get the side there as well. Um, so yeah, Watch Dogs Legions, kind of metallic shine on it, the different characters. I don't think it got the, the best reviews as well um, with this one, but I don't, I don't, uh, don't mind the steel book. I know there's a collector's edition out there that comes with like this like skull, which looks pretty dope as well too. So, but yeah, that's a steel book for that one. Uh, next up, um, this is the Far Cry 6 steel book. This one came with the the ultimate edition. So there's actually let me see what three steel yeah three steel books for this game. Three different steel books. Um, this one came with the ultimate edition, which is available through. Um, uh, GameStop here in the United States. Um, so you got the you know the chicken with the little neck uh, brace on it, and then you get the alligator in the back. These just kind of like protrudes out a little bit, so it pops out. Kind of a dope feel. But yeah, I got that one there. Uh, this is actually sealed still. So um, next up, we have Hot Wheels Unleashed. I think they just announced a, a new version, Hot Wheels Leashed at 2 coming out here, I think this year already, so. But this one um, came with the Challenge Accepted Edition. Um, and it was here, at least here in the States, it was, um, I wanna say a Walmart exclusive, because it came with an actual, like, actual Hot Wheels car. Uh, no spine name on the side, which kinda sucks if you're trying to display it. Um, you can't see what it says, but yeah, Hot Wheels Unleashed. Next up, this one, um, this one's actually the Police Simulator um, Steelbook uh, Edition. So, <laughs> I know in the States we're getting it next month, I believe. But uh, over in, like, you know, PAL Germany, this has already came out. But this is a Steelbook Edition for that game. I get the focus here. Police Simulator Patrol Officers. So, got the City of Brighton on there. Um, protect and serve and inside of it some things from the game there as well so nice little steel book next up uh, we have persona 5 royal steel book uh, it was kind of weird I think they were almost the same price if I think there was a steel book edition of this game and then you had a standard version I think they're the same price so you guys collect steel books? Um, definitely check this one out. 
if you're especially if you're a Persona fan. But yeah, this is the Persona Royal Persona 5 Royal Edition Steelbook. Uh, next up, we have the Odd World. Uh, I want to say it's Soulstorm, I believe. <laughs> this steelbook is crazy. Um, it's huge hand on it. It pops out crazy. But yeah, you got the the hand on the front. Abe's hand. I'm thinking it's Abe's hand, I believe. And then you got the got a tattooed body on the back. And get the disc inside there. So yeah, not bad. You got the. I guess I know the difference. This may not call a steel book as the a G2, G2 or I know there's different names for them, but for now you're just gonna get it. You're, I'm just gonna call them a steel book. So <laughs> uh, next up, kind of a basic one. Um, this was you know, the, they got a limited edition. Uh, I won't say it's recompile or something like that. So that was the steel book. I think there's a standard version of this game as well, but so far in the United States, it's just a limited edition steelbook edition. So, kind of a plain steelbook for that one. All right, next up we have the fist fist steelbook, Forge and Shadow Torch. So, great game steelbook. I like the steelbook though rabbit with a huge robot fist on it but yeah if you want the game soundtrack go ahead and grab that there next up we got beyond a steel sky um, this one was originally just a steel book uh, and then they came out later with the standard edition but this is actually a uh, sequel to beneath a steel sky it was a PC game so yeah <clears throat> Pretty decent game, I like the action adventure type stuff. It's kind of a cyberpunk universe, but yeah, Beyond a Steel Sky. Next up, I haven't seen the movie yet, but I heard good things about it. But this is a Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance. Uh, this was a GameStop exclusive uh, with a bundle that came with obviously with a steel book and art book. But <clears throat> yeah, that one, and then. You got that there, so nothing crazy in the inside. But Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance. Next up, I know this is not a steel book. I think this is like a, I can't think of the name of it, but um, Company of Heroes 3. Uh, definitely love the feel, like they went all out for this book just because it looks super like uh, out of war. Um, definitely kind of destroyed and the indentions of it, every everything in it, but Definitely kind of like that. Company Heroes 3. This comes with the Steelbook currently with the launch edition. I could see them later doing a standard version that doesn't come with this. So <clears throat> if you like the game, um, if you played it on PC, or if you're you know a Steelbook collector, you might want to grab this one soon. So uh, Next up, we have the guy, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, this one again, kind of like the um, Watch Dogs game. Um, it came with like a, it comes with a, like a clear slip cover, which is not on this because I wanted to kind of obviously show the steel book, but it comes with a clear, a clear slip case. Um, but these were kind of what they were doing when PlayStation 5 first came out, as we're doing these like clear slip cover see through. But yeah, this is the Valhalla. Uh, Steelbook for Assassin's Creed. So you might just find the Steelbook, um, but I think the the piece is getting the clear case with it as well too. So <clears throat> next up we have Ghostwire Tokyo, the Bethesda game here. This one, uh, I believe it was a. I think I, I got this was a. A pre-order bonus through Best Buy. Um, one thing, you know, kind of like Best, Best Buy does is if you do, a, you know, you pre-order their games, you get an extra nice little steel book with them too. So uh, I believe this one was a steel book or a Best Buy exclusive uh, with a pre-order. Uh, same with this one. I think there's two different ones. 
I know GameStop and Best Buy have had or had still books. I don't, I think this one might, might have been the um, GameStop one. But you got Sonic Frontiers here. Pretty dope steel book. Um, just pretty solid, just slick. Nothing indentions, but a pretty cool graphic on the outside and then inside. You got the kind of uh, crazy pattern there. Next up, we have Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade. This was a GameStop exclusive steelbook. So if you pre ordered the PS5 version um, through them, you're getting this book here too. So uh, this is a PS5 exclusive actually. So um, the Intergrade is going to have the bonus stuff, a bonus episode or DLC, whatever you want to call it, with it. But yeah, that's the inside of that. Definitely hype for the new Final Fantasy Part 2 or 7 Part 2 coming out and then the new one coming out this month as well. Right here is Resident Evil 4. Definitely enjoyed this game. This one, there was two of them. I think this one is the one that came with the collector's edition, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there was another one that came as a pre-order bonus, I believe. But yeah, Resident Evil 4. I wish the, uh, if you've seen like the three or I think Resident Evil 2 has probably the best still book, I think. In my opinion, with the, the zombie kind of like with bloody, bloody all over it. Uh, next one. This one is Yakuza uh, or yeah, Yakuza like a dragon, I believe. Or Ishin, Ishin like a dragon. I'm sorry, um, but yeah, this is a steel book. I want to say this was a GameStop exclusive as well. So I wish it had the spine on it, but it doesn't. But another pretty dope cover. If you're in the Yakuza universe or like that style, might be something you want to pick up. Uh, next one. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. This only came... Actually, I lied. No. I'm trying to think. I can't remember where this came from. Oh, I think this came with the... Um, maybe the Collector's Edition or something like that. I cannot remember for the life of me now. Uh, but yeah, this is the Five Nights at Freddy Security Breach still book. And then you got the game there. So I know uh, they've got a TV show coming out or a movie coming out later this year, which looks like it's looks pretty decent. So excited to check that out when it comes out. But this is kind of uh, bubbled out as well. So embroidered on there. But yeah, Five Nights at Freddy Security Breach. Next up, we got Valkyrie Elysium, another uh, Square Enix game here. Uh, this one, I believe, is was from Best Buy, I believe. So, pretty dope graphic artwork on the front. You got the spine, shows the name of it. And then the inside, got a pretty, another pretty dope graphic as well too. <clears throat> you got Valkyrie Elysium. Next up, um, probably a, a harder one to find. This is the Guilty Gear Strive Steelbook. Um, it only came with the Guilty Gear Strive, like, Ultimate Edition. So that was the only way you were able to get this one. Um, but yeah, pretty basic steelbook. Or if you want to, it's not a steelbook, but um, pretty basic steelbook. Um, and then it comes with, you know, the, the DLC code with it as well. So be on the lookout for this one. Um, this one is definitely going to be harder to find later down the road. Uh, kind of like what I was saying before, um, Far Cry 6 had multiple different uh, steelbooks. This one came with the Gold Edition. Um, so <clears throat> the Gold Edition, the Ultimate Edition had um, like a slip cover that slipped over, over top of this. Uh, but this is one of them in the steel sealed here. But you got, I call him Gus from uh, Breaking Bad. You got him on the front, Dove Actor. I can't think of his actual name. So, Far Cry 6. And like I said, the other one is... Comes with the, the flamethrower. So, you get the flamethrower. I have it. It's in storage. So, 
um, but that's a totally different one. So Far Cry 6 technically has three still books. Uh, next up here, we have Among Us. This uh, came with the collector's edition. So only way you're able to get this one is the, the collector's edition. Uh, I think they had a couple different editions they had of this one, but this is one of them here. Uh, it's definitely embroidered here. So I know this is a big, I'm surprised they made this into a, a game for the consoles because obviously it was pretty popular on cell phones and computers too. So, but can put some extra, some goodies inside. Uh, this one is probably one of the rare steel books I got. Um, this is a Scarlet Nexus. This launched out pretty early in the PS5's lifetime. Um, and it was a Bandai Namco exclusive, so you could only get it on their website. So, pretty, pretty dope. Our work on it. They got the spine. But uh, be on the lookout for this one. Um, obviously, you get the old Bandai Namco logo on there. They changed it now. But yeah, if you see this one out in the wild or wherever you're looking, you can see you can get it cheap. Definitely pick this one up. Next up, we have Dead Island 2. This one came with um, the the Hele edition. So, you know, I wish I had something on the spine here, but definitely enjoyed this game a lot. Highly recommend it. And then comes some bonus stuff on there. And then you got the kind of like the artwork on the, the case and stuff in the back backing here. But yeah, Dead Island 2 steelbook uh next up kind of a recent game here we got the diablo 4 steelbook this was it's weird because this one wasn't announced uh at the time of the game was being able to be pre-ordered this was from gamestop so if you pre-ordered it um luckily enough they threw the uh got a poster and then a steelbook as well too so get the spine Pretty dope artwork on the front. A little shimmer shine to it. Got the logo on the back. And you got the picture right in the middle there. But Diablo 4. Uh, next one up, we got Stranger of Paradise Steelbook. A Square Enix one. I uh, didn't, didn't really get into this one. Uh, I believe this was a Best Buy exclusive. If I can't, if I'm remembering correctly. But this almost looked like it could be a reversal cover with that artwork in the in the middle there. But yeah, pretty plain. Nothing crazy with this one. Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin. All right, next up, we got the other Resident Evil 4 still book. This one came, um, I believe it was from Best Buy. Uh, this one's kind of just basic. Uh, I like the other one better. But I don't mind this one at all. But... Yeah, Resident Evil 4 still book. This one was a Best Buy exclusive, I believe. Uh, next one up, this is the other uh, Sonic one. I want to say this one was the Best Buy one, uh, where the other one was GameStop. <clears throat> so, I, I think I like this one better. Just kind of basic, plain. Uh, get the logo on the back or on the side, um, and then kind of a symbol on the back as well. And then you get the same graphic on the inside. Uh, next one here is the Forspoken. You got the album cover. Got her over the chair, or not even over the chair, just kind of kneeling, um, looking crazy. But uh, yeah, it's another Square Enix game. I know I didn't get the hype that I was expecting. Um, but yeah, Steelbook, this one was Best Buy. Exclusive. Next one up, we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Uh, this one was a GameStop exclusive, so I feel like they kind of get a lot of the Call of Duty stuff exclusive, but you get the Modern Warfare 2 on the side there. Got the dude on the front, on the side, on the back. And then you kind of got the nice graphic in the middle there. Uh, next up, we have the Madden 23 cover with John Madden on the front. I can't even remember uh, 
You know, I think this was a Walmart exclusive. Now that I think about it. Uh, and then you'll see later here, but they kind of have, I don't know, they get the the Madden Steelbooks for some weird reason. But yeah, this was the Madden Steelbook. A um, little shine to it. You got John Madden on the front. And you kind of forgot about his signature and a, a play on the inside. This one, we got the Elden Ring still book. Um, I can't remember. I think this one came with the collector's edition. I don't think anybody had an exclusive, or this might have been a Best Buy exclusive, but I think it came with the collector's edition, if I remember correctly. Got the Elden Ring on the side, which is dope. And then you got the nice weapon on the back. <clears throat> um, and then you got the Kind of the graphic from the cover in the inside there. Next one up, this is probably one of my favorites. Um, you got the medium, uh, dope cover. Um, this uh, this came with like a kind of a special edition overseas, but yeah, this is, this is another one that's hard to find. I uh, love the cover. <clears throat> kind of reminds me of like a like a movie cover, but. This would be a dope like poster too. But you got the girl in the front, front bringing her <coughs> hands, bringing her down, and then inside you got the CD and game inside there. So that's probably my one of my favorites out of the all of them so far. Uh, next up, we got the Scent Cyber Edition. Um, the Cyber Edition came with the Steel Book. Came in a kind of a big box, um, as you can see, kind of like this. It's kind of indented there nice red you get this kind of the same symbol on the back and then you got the dlc and kind of the skyline on the inside you got the ascent cyber edition steelbook next up one of my favorite franchises you get the terminator resistance steelbook this only came with the collector's edition through uh limited run so Got the uh, side there, the resistance, and you got the skull, all the T-1000s on there. Definitely like this one as well, too. And I can't wait for that uh, RoboCop game as well, too. Man, it's going to be fun. Yeah, Terminator Resistance, still book. Next up, Wanted Dead. This came with the... Um, collector's edition kind of nice bullet holes on the steel book you got the one at dead logo on the back or the side and you got kind of a scripture on the back and the inside you got the soundtrack and then a nice little like button patch there next up what do you think this is? What do you think? Because I don't remember. <laughs> oh man, what is this one? Let me see. Oh, Mortal Shell Enhanced Edition. This uh, came with the Game of the Year Edition. So it came with have a slip cover on the outside of it, and then it has all the the DLC with the with the game as well. This is kind of like if you like Dark Souls type games, this is what this is. Mortal Shell. Enhanced edition. This, like I said, this one came with the uh, Game of the Year edition. Next up, we got Guardians of the Galaxy. A great game. This still book. There's another one. This still book came with the collector's edition. So, uh, inside of it came with that. And obviously, you got the game. And if you guys want Square Enix points, you can try to redeem them as quickly as possible. But yeah, highly, highly recommend this game. Uh, I know the Marvel's game, um, what was it? The original uh, Avengers game didn't do any justice. This one definitely held up. The acting, the, uh, the gameplay, everything. It's hilarious. Great game. Next up, we got Horizon. Enjoy this game. You can kind of see a little shimmer, you know, with a little earpiece there um, this one came with the, the special edition yeah, you got the enemies on the back there and you 
got alloy. Let's see if we can see here. Right there. So definitely a dope looking inside. Enjoyed this game as well too. But you got Horizon Forbidden West. Still book. Next up we got NBA 2K22. This is the uh, 75th anniversary edition it came out. So uh, this was exclusive through Best Buy. You got obviously you got Kareem, Dirk, and KD on the cover. Nothing really on the inside. And then you get the logo on the back. And then nothing on the side. Sticking with the theme of basketball, we got the NBA 2K21. We um, got the Mamba Forever edition. This one, I want to say this is a, another Best Buy exclusive. You got Kobe on the front. Uh, nothing on the back there. And then you got the Mamba Forever on the inside. Uh, next up, this is a uh, Gotham's Knights Steelbook. Uh, I believe this one came from Walmart, if I believe so. Um, you get the characters on the front. You get the nice Gotham Knights logo on the side. I got more of the, the street. And then inside, kind of got the layout of the map. You got Nightwing, Robin, Red Hood, and Batgirl. So... I, I enjoyed this game. I know some people didn't, but I definitely did. Uh, next up, we got the God of War Ragnarok Steelbook. Uh, this is something that I hate that Sony's doing with the freaking collector's editions that they're doing. Like, it's <clears throat> you get a steelbook with it, but with the digital code only. Just stupid to me, personally. Um, give me a disc, or give me the option to do, you know, both or something, but... The only way you could get this uh, steelbook was getting this uh, collector's edition or, you know, getting it online, hoping somebody's just going to sell a steelbook. So, got that there. Uh, next one up, and we got the One Piece Odyssey steelbook. Uh, this was a GameStop exclusive. You got the logo on the side there. Nothing really on the back. Characters on the front. Bandai, you got the new Bandai Namco logo on the inside. And then you got that there. Boom. All right, next up, we're winding down to the last maybe 15 <clears throat> or so. Uh, next up, we got Wolong Fi uh, Fallen Dynasty. Uh, this was the launch Steelbook Edition. They didn't make too many of these, uh, so if you find it out there cheap, definitely grab it. Um, but definitely a fun game here. I love the art style of this one. <clears throat> Inside, kind of got the, obviously got the DLC in the game. But nothing super crazy on the inside. But yeah, Wolong Fallen Dynasty. Next up, we have Dying Light 2. This was the Deluxe Edition or something. I can't remember what it was called. It's called something, uh, but it came with the steelbook. Um, you got the character on the front here, and then the back, you got one of the zombies, which is pretty dope. I want to say this glows in the dark or something, black light. So, um, the DLC code is probably used already, but go ahead and try it if you want it. But yeah, inside, nothing, nothing super crazy. You got the just part of the world there. The uh, got the logo on the side there. Uh, next up, we have WWE 2K21. We got Rey Mysterio um, on the front. Nothing on the side, unfortunately. And you got his signature 619 on the back. I said 21. I meant 22. <laughs> Um, but yeah, definitely glad to get this steelbook. This was a uh, GameStop exclusive with this one. All right, next up, I want to say this is a Best Buy one. This was Death Loop. Got the character, both characters on them. You got the both assassins there. Another Bethesda game. Nothing, nothing too crazy with this one. And then you got kind of the him in there. So 
Yeah, Death Loop. And this is a Best Buy exclusive. Uh, like I was saying earlier, the first Guardian um, Steelbook was a collector's edition exclusive. Um, this one, I want to say this was Best, or this is Walmart. So uh, if you ordered it through Walmart or pre-ordered it, you were able to get the Steelbook with this one. It's kind of more of like a comic, comic book style. Nothing really on the inside, a little swirl action. But yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, still book. I haven't seen the new movie yet. I need to check it out. I heard it's good. Uh, next up, this one came with the uh, Notorious Edition through Best or through GameStop. This is a uh, Saints Row, kind of remastered. Um, so you kind of got the nice little pattern inside. And you got some of the characters on the outside there. And then Saints Row on the on the side. I enjoyed that one. It, I know again some people didn't like it, but I, I didn't mind it. Uh, next up we got Sifu. This was originally like at, this is like the Vengeance edition. Originally I think you could only get this version. So this is probably more the more common one. They do have a standard release that's probably less common. Um, but this one you're gonna be able to get the get the steel book with it so definitely a fun game highly recommend playing this one Sifu uh, next up recent game here we got Street Fighter 6 steel book this was a Best Buy exclusive so you get the Street Fighter logo on the back on the side and then you got some more characters on the back Guile Blanca so and some more characters on the inside as well. Ryu, E Honda, so Cami, Chung Lee. Definitely a fun game. Definitely check out this one. But it's not it's not beaten. It's not touching my Mortal Kombat, I'm sorry. <laughs> my Mortal Kombat to day one here, fan here. Uh, next one, we got uh Lost Judgments. This was it was weird. This one was weird. It was uh, originally a Best Buy exclusive steelbook and then Best Buy maybe lost the rights to it or whatever the case may be and then it became a GameStop exclusive so only way to get this one was through GameStop so I get the Lost Judgment and I hate that it's backwards so <laughs> I don't know why that is it's weird I don't know if this is like you know an Xbox copy or something like that but Lost Judgment All right, last six. Uh, so we got Final Fantasy, Crisis Core, Reunion, Dope Cover. This was a Best Buy exclusive as well. If I'm correct. If I'm correct, I'm pretty sure this one was. I know these were going for some money for a while as well too. I don't know if they are still, but definitely glad that that into the collection. Especially if you're a Final Final Fantasy fan. I think that's a dope cover. This one, kind of was saying before with Walmart, this was a Walmart exclusive. This was weird because this came out like way after the game. There was like a, a bow nose edition, but the the edition, like the edition was the this, just a steel book. So it was the regular game. I think maybe they just try to print up something extra to sell more copies around it. Um, but yeah, this was the Bow Nose Steelbook for Madden 22. Um, didn't come with anything else other than the Steelbook, so. Uh, and that was through Walmart. Uh, another one, this is pretty dope, I love it. This is the, the Skywalker Legacy, or Saga, um, Legos game here. So you got Han and the, and the Carbonite. It's pretty dope, but yeah. Fun game, fun Lego game. Has all the all the movies on it. This was a Best Buy exclusive. Really, it was. It could have put something on the back. Um, but yeah, Skywalker Saga. And then you got Han sitting there. And it's kind of bubbled out too. So I thought it was pretty dope. Next one up, we got Battlefield 2042 Steelbook. I want to say this was a Best Buy exclusive. 
It might have been Best Buy and uh, GameStop, but nothing really on the inside. And then you get the Battlefield 2042, Battlefield on the back or the side, and then you got the character looking very intense, like he's about to do something crazy. Next up, we have Back for Blood. Uh, this one I know for sure glows in the dark. So uh, if I turn the lights off, this Back for Blood would glow in the dark. This was a Best Buy exclusive. I uh, enjoyed this one as well. Back for Blood on the side. You got the zombies on the back, and then that looks crazy. <laughs> the Back for Blood. And last but not least, Yee's 8 Steelbook. Um, this one came with obviously the collector's edition through NIS. So I was definitely happy to. I didn't get it on for PS4, so I'm happy that it came out with it for PS5. But yeah, pretty nice Steelbook there. Embroidered as well. But yeah, that is it for my PS5 Steelbooks. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I know this is kind of a long video. And actually, and actually, I got one more. We have the Evil Dead, the game, Steelbook. Which I definitely love out there. Um, this one came with the collector's edition of the game. It's the only way you're able to get it. All you Ash fans out there, Evil Dead, Deadites, uh, you'll definitely enjoy that one. Also, too, um, just like a quick note, there's a lot of companies and individuals that do steelbooks. So if you're getting these steelbooks, make sure that you kind of do your research to find out if they're legitimate or not. A lot of people are making fake ones that look real um, or just custom stuff. Hopefully the seller that's selling them is putting custom and not just passing it off like a a legitimate steel book so just make sure when you're doing your research on steel books uh, make sure it's actually an actual one and not just like a custom even though you know you, you might enjoy custom steel books that's to each his own um, but yeah if you're you know looking for a legitimate one and paying some money for it uh, make sure it's the the real one so uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think is which one was your favorite uh, again, I'm not really going for like a steelbook set collection, but if you know if I'm able to get them through pre-orders or whatever the case may be, I'll definitely pick them up. But yeah, um, let me know if there's some that I didn't sh that I didn't have and I should look out for. I know there's a few that I'm looking for, like uh, uh, I can't even think of the name. <laughs> I can't even think of the name of it. Uh, Dead Space. Yeah, Dead Space. That's what I'm looking for. So that's one of them. It's a couple other ones too. But uh, yeah, let me know um, if I should be on the lookout for some uh, other ones that I don't have. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm James with PlayStation Ain't Dead. Until the next video, peace.